Coming up next, I'm going to review one of the classic niche fragrances that kind of started it all for everybody in the niche world. This is the Fig Masterpiece. I have the sample here from Diptyque, and it's coming up next, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, to Joel The Nose. And today I'm doing a review of what I consider one of the classics. And I'm gonna start actually doing more of these, a little bit, maybe a new series, and, and, and starting a kind of like just a subset of reviews where I kind of go back and look at some of the classic fragrances over time, whether it be Chanel or, you know, in this case, Diptyque, which is one of the first niche fragrances for a lot of people. Uh, the French niche house, but I think it's kind of cool because, you know, so often we're just focused on what's the latest, newest, hottest fragrance to come out to hit the market and everyone's waiting. And those are great. I, of course, I, I, I review those and I want to know what's happening, but I also would like to know what were the ones that kind of were the trailblazers. And let's go back and, and look at them today and see whether they're still relevant in today and, and kind of contrast and compare them with what's going on. So the first, I guess you would kind of say in this series is I have here a sample decant from Diptyque. Diptyque is the French niche house. They have their own boutiques. They also have sometimes, you know, uh, their own little mini boutiques in different stores, like high-end stores, like maybe Neiman's or Saks. But Diptyque actually has two boutique, freestanding boutiques here in Miami. And you may have seen a video I did the other day uh, where I actually kind of did a first impression of Tam Dao, which is a cedar fragrance, which I will be doing a full review of. And then also this one, Philosikos. Philosikos is, uh, this is a fragrance that came out in 1996, okay? So for a lot of you, you may not even been born then. It's kind of scary to think about that are watching this video. But uh, Philosikos, love the name. You know, it's got that Greek reference. Uh, and Philosikos is a fig leaf masterpiece. And if you like the fruit, the fig fruit, this is something that if you haven't tried before, you really need to smell. This is kind of one of those fragrances, I think that really set the bar for any other type of fig, fig fragrance that came along. For example, I can think of fig tea um, from Parfums uh, de Nicolai, which I really like. But this one was really kind of the original. It came out in 1996 again. This is, I have here by the, by the way, the Eau de Toilette. They also have an Eau de Parfum. But when I was at the boutique talking to the manager and I smelled both really quickly and the manager actually told me she prefers the EDT version. It just is a little bit lighter, brighter than the Eau de Parfum version. So I decided I'm gonna wear that one. I'm gonna test this one. I'll probably review that one later also. But so this is, she gave me a, a sample decant. You can see here the box. I mean, it's obviously not the full bottle. Uh, the bottles are beautiful. And you just have the, you know, the decant information here. It's, you know, nothing exceptional there. It has the name Philosikos on it. It says Eau de Toilette, Diptyque, Paris, made in France. Okay, so it's got all the basic information there. And uh, let me just kind of spray it. I've already worn it a bunch of times, but I'm gonna spray it here, just give you a first impression. Okay, let me get the alcohol off. Ooh, wow. This is uh, a great, this smells, you know, recording this in the morning. And it just, I've been wearing it all day yesterday and the day before. So, uh, it just, it's, okay, immediately, fig, 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 right? So if you look at the note breakdown on this, it actually, at the top is listed as fig, <laughs> fig leaf. At the heart is uh, green notes, and then at the base, they list fig tree, woody notes, cedar. Oh, I'm sorry, also the heart, you have green notes with coconut. Uh, that's very important. I don't want to forget that. But this is, I mean, this is a fig bomb. This is, if you like, again, this kind of green, herbaceous, lively, fruity, but not fruity sweet. It's kind of more like a dry fruit. Uh, this is not a, like, a, when I say dry, I don't mean dry. I guess I mean not that really kind of almost gourmandish sweet that a lot of fruit fragrances have, uh, like a cherry or an almond or even a, a pineapple or whatever. 
This is pure fig and it's very fresh. It feels like, I swear to God, this feels like you, someone just cut a fig leaf, which is one of the notes, off a branch and you smelled it when you, and you, or you broke the branch off and you could smell both the sap and the leaf and the fig because that coconut in there kind of gives it this little bit of a creaminess, almost like the sap that's oozing out. So picture that, picture this tree, a beautiful fig tree, close your eyes, picture a beautiful fig tree, you snap it, you smell it, and you get both the green fig and kind of the sappy creaminess of, 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 of the sap. And it is, again, it's leafy, it's green, herbaceous, it's very spring-like, this is a perfect spring fragrance going into summer, so again, I would really highly recommend wearing this now. It's actually kind of juicy, so again, almost like it, I would feel like it's like you're picking a, a fig leaf when it had just rained, like maybe a summer or spring shower, and the leaves are wet, it's kind of juicy. Um, and again, what happens is the, the coconut for me, you just get a hint at the beginning. The beginning, the beginning really is all about this green, herbaceous, leafy, juicy fig. But then after about 45 minutes, the coconut for really me, for me starts to kick in and gives it that really kind of creaminess. And I help, I think it helped rounds out the green part of the fig because sometimes that can be a little bit harsh. You know, that those notes, those kind of green notes can be harsh to some people. This is not harsh. This is very well rounded. I think the coconut does a good job there. Um, and by the way, this is not dated. So one of the things I want to check on these classic fragrances is this, does this smell dated in, you know, the 2020, 2021, this came out in 1996, you know, over 20 years ago. So how does it smell? Uh, and I got to say, it smells wonderful. Uh, this is just, it smells fresh. It smells current. It smells very unisex. Uh, I would say, again, this is pretty much right down the middle. I don't think it leans one way or the, or the other. I could see some people say maybe maybe more feminine, but I don't think so. This is very perfect on my skin. Um, it's also kind of very clean. So I wouldn't say soapy clean, but it's just got this very kind of clean spring-like effect. Um, and it is, uh, what should I say? Let me touch on the coconut. Some people are afraid of coconut because they think it makes the fragrance smell like suntan lotion. It does not have that effect at all. And I've smelled plenty of fragrances that do have so much coconut that they smell like literally suntan lotion. That's not this at all. The coconut is very subdued. It's not overpowering. This is all about the fig. This, there's, this is a pure fig fragrance. It's got the other notes in there that help round it, that help blend it, that help, you know, kind of really uh, accentuate the fig. But this don't be fooled, it's fig, coconut blends in well. I would say the woody notes are very subdued. So the dry down feels to me more ambery than it does, for example, woody cedar. Uh, Tam Dao, for example, one of the other classics from Diptyque is very cedar. That's like totally cedar, this is totally fig, and the dry down's a little bit more amber. I love amber, it comes across warm on the skin, you still have the coconut and you still have the fig in there, so it has this kind of warm, creamy effect. Um, but again, it's, it's, I don't really get so much the cedar, I think it's more there, again, as a blending element to help uh, the fragrance. Projection, you're gonna get, on, on my skin, I got about a little less than two hours, but that's what I expect from an eau de toilette. Uh, if you want the eau de parfum, that's gonna go, it's, I, I assume gonna give you a longer lasting fragrance. Eau de toilette's typically on my skin, on a good eau de toilette. By the way, don't be scared. Everyone thinks eau de toilette's not gonna last. Actually, it you know, shouldn't be that way if it's a quality fragrance. And I got eight hours, solid eight hours, on the multiple wearings I've done with this fragrance. It's not gonna be a beast mode fragrance. It's not gonna be projecting all over the place, but it's a beautiful skin scent fragrance. It's one that you're gonna wear maybe when you're sitting in the house all day by yourself, like I am today working, or maybe I think this would be a good nighttime fragrance even before you go to bed. It's very calming, it's very soothing. It almost has that kind of medicinal effect. Um, so again, eight hours, good longevity for an eau de toilette. Uh, projection about two hours. By the way, the price on this is, it's about, I think it's $105 now for 100 milliliters. So for a really high quality niche fragrance, I think that's a good price. The Eau de Toilette, I'm sorry, the Eau de Parfum is I think about $180 for 75 milliliters. So you're gonna step up almost twice the price. So I do recommend trying out the EDT first if you're interested in 
this fragrance because it was the original. And typically I like originals better than flankers, although the EDP is not really a flanker. I, I, I guess you could argue. That, that, that's a debatable point. Let me know your comments on that actually. Uh, when a fragrance was originally an EDT and then they come out with an EDP version, you consider that a flanker, a totally different fragrance. Well, you know, I'd like to hear some of your guys' opinions on that. So there you have it. I'll wrap that up. That is, uh, again, Philosikos from Diptyque, the EDT version. Beautiful fig fragrance. This will be going in my collection. I think that highly of it. I love fig notes. And I just, I think this is a classic and I think it should be in everyone's collection if you really are a fragrance collector. That's it, Joel the Nose. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I really appreciate everyone's support. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace and love.